the lads from Thailand here. And today's video is from my wife's farm here in Karat. As you can see, a different background here compared to our house by the coast in Rayon. We're in Karat visiting family for the Songkhan period and gone through the, the COVID here and everywhere else in Thailand. So we've been advised to, to stay here until the restrictions from traveling from one red zone to another red zone has become more clear. So we're here for a while and I don't mind because as I say, my wife's farm is very, very comfortable living here. So today's video is gonna be about salary, housekeeping. Call it wherever you want. Um, th there are many, many words for it about people paying an income for their Thai girlfriend or Thai wife. It causes controversy, no matter who you talk to, for it, against it, or whatever. But if I can give you a couple of scenarios, excuse me, my hand moving backwards and forwards, but summertime now there's these pesky little black flies that just want to go into your eyes. To, it's a nuisance, but it comes every summer, and that's what you've got to get used to living in Thailand. Today is very, very, very hot and humid and sticky. Um, as you can see, the clouds are gathering for a, a thunderstorm, maybe it's this afternoon. So let's see what happens. But yes, getting back to the subject, the salary, housekeeping, call it wherever you want. I'll give you a couple of scenarios. If I was living back in the UK and I was to find a girlfriend who was on the benefit system, she'll already have a house or a flat or a apartment that the council will be paying for. She'll get a, a weekly income. So therefore she doesn't have to work. And if she's got kids, well, she's, she's, on, the, she's on the good income from the state and the state will take care of her as long as she keeps claiming the benefits. So therefore you could have a girlfriend who doesn't work and she's getting an income, so it doesn't require any income. If you met a girl in England, it's the same in America with the welfare system. If you met a girl that wasn't working and not being able to claim benefits, then she would be reliant on you to be able to give her money to be able to live each day. Um, so it's the same in Thailand. If people don't work in Thailand, there's no welfare benefit system here. If you don't work, you die. That's as simple as that. Or you rely upon your family to help feed you. Let's just say I've got some friends who live here in Thailand that say that they don't give their girlfriends any monthly salary or anything else like that. But they pay for the children's school fees, they pay for the uniforms, they pay for clothes, they pay for food, they pay for medical treatment, dentist treatments and things like that. So in one way or another, if you're a foreigner living here in Thailand, you'll pay one way or another, but it just comes under many different names. Now my view on that is that if your girlfriend has to ask you for every penny to pay for the school fees, to pay for shoes, to pay for clothing, how demeaning it is of that girl having to ask you every time she wants some money. So let's just say, give her a salary every month. And I give my wife a salary every month. And out of that, she pays the school fees for her son. She buys all the clothes for her, her son and herself, and her own medical medications, things like that. So it gives her own independence to be able to buy the things that she wants to buy. Now, as I say, most girls over here work. And if you don't give them any money so they don't work, how are they going to pay for their responsibilities? How are they going to pay for their day-to-day -day needs without asking you for money? So my view upon this is that if you're asking the girl to stop working wherever she does, then you've got to compensate that girl to be able to be with you all the time. I give my wife a salary so she can be with me all the time, so we can go travelling on me holidays and things like that. Now, if she was working, she would only get one day a week off. Now, that's no good to me. I've had a girlfriend who was working um, as a chef in the Dusatani in, in Papia. I seen her one day a week and two hours on the evening time. That's no life for me. who have been retired, I want to go on holidays. Your girlfriend can't come with you because of, of working. And if you get a girlfriend who's got a really good secure job, it's going to be an awful lot before they're packing work 
before they'll be full time with you because they've worked hard to get where they are and they are not just going to pack up work just because they've met you and you're the, the saviour of them. That's never going to happen. So, call it wherever you like. Everybody, one way or another, pays to be with a girlfriend, not just in Thailand, but anywhere else in the world, because that's just the way it is. I had a Chinese wife, and we travelled around the world for two years. Now, where was she getting her money to travel around the world for two years? Absolutely nothing, because she wasn't working. She'd give up work to be able to go around the world with me for two years. So I paid for everything. The only thing she ever paid for was the ticket to go around the world, which was 1,800. And we spent £45,000 going around the world for two years. And I paid for all of that. And she didn't pay for anything because she didn't have the money to pay for everything because she was working before and she had to come off work to be able to go around the world with me for two years. So what's that? Is that me taking care of her? So what would people call that? You know, I had a girlfriend, she was Chinese, although she was born in England, and she came around the world with me for two years. What would people, put it in the comments what you would say that was for two years. We were together for four years altogether. So it was my want when I retired that I wanted to travel around the world for two years. And I had two options, either do that alone or do it with my girlfriend. And I think everybody would choose to do it with a girlfriend. So yes, I paid, but it was, it was my choice. And that's the same in Thailand whether you want the girlfriend to be with you all the time or not depends on whether you're going to pay for them to be with you as company or not so that was just a little video about having to pay somebody a salary or not and the, the way i think and the way my thought process goes with regard to if you're living here in thailand whether you pay for a, a salary or whether you don't so if you've got any comments, if you like the video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe would be nice. So until the next video, from Les, living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.